Hi, this is Cedric from Vertex Marketing Agency, a Facebook ad agency. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about dynamic creative. Should you use it or not? Now, for anyone not familiar with it, it's actually a feature within Facebook ads that lets you add multiple videos or images primary text, descriptions, and call to actions. And what Facebook does is it creates the best variation based on what will perform best for a given user. And honestly, they do a really great job at creating that perfect match between you know, the ad creative and the user. Now, should you use that feature or should you leave it unchecked next time you're an ads manager? Well, the answer to this is that it really depends. The biggest use case of leaving it unchecked is because you are using an existing post as your ad. So if you are using an existing post as your ad, you actually can't use the dynamic creative feature uh, because the post you are importing isn't really dynamic, right? It's a post. A follow-up question to that is, okay, so should I be using an existing post or use dynamic creative? Well, the answer is yes, use an existing post if you are doing something like a brand awareness, a reach campaign, and you really wanna use the things like likes and all the comments and really the engagement you have on that post. But if the goal of your campaign is conversions or leads, I strongly recommend that you use the dynamic creative feature because based on our experience and what we've seen for all the ad accounts and our clients that we manage is that the dynamic creative gets you better results for a cheaper price. Now, if ever you're listening to this and you're still not sure about using dynamic creatives and you know, is it for you, is it not? Well, stick until the end of this video because one thing that we do at Vertex Marketing Agency is we really study the algorithms and I'll actually do a live demo where I'll show you how the Facebook algorithm decides to show specific image to specific users. But before we get into that, let's start with how do you even use that feature? Let's get into it. First of all, you need to go into facebook.com slash ads manager. And here I'm in my demo account. That's why there's not a lot of information. And right now I am on the campaign level. So it's actually done on the ad set level. So if I check this, which I already did, I go here. Oh, I guess I was on the ad set level. Now that's the one here. So for you, it's probably automatically gonna be off. So all you have to do is click on now, as soon as you do that, you can go to the ad level. And then that's when you'll be able to add multiple image or multiple videos. Now, if I scroll here, I can add more than one primary text, right? I can add up to five. Same thing with the headlines, right? Just by clicking the, the little option here, add another option. And I can add multiple descriptions, website URL. It's obviously only one. Um, and I can have multiple call to action. So I can have up to five of all these. So that's really cool. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how does the algorithm work and how does it identify, okay, well this image, let's show that to this specific user. So I'm gonna go in my little tool here. I'm gonna make this full screen. So let's see this thing in action. So here I'm actually in a tool. And as you can see here, I created a folder and this is supposed to represent like a Facebook database. So obviously this is like a demo and an example. Um, and in user in Facebook uh, database, they would have more than two users. But here I have John Smith and Patrick James. And if we open up John Smith, we can see that he loves pit bulls. So what this is actually supposed to represent, it's supposed to represent the pictures that this specific user, John Smith, liked on Facebook. So obviously, again, in Facebook database, they would have way more information about the user. For us, for this example, all we know about John Smith is that he loves pit bulls. Now, if I go back, Patrick James here, three images of three different Huskies. So again, here we know that Patrick likes Huskies. So if we go here, and I'm actually just gonna open this up, open this up, I'm gonna reload it. Um, I'm gonna drag this here. So as you can see here, here are the three pictures of the Huskies. So as you can see, all these images are all different. You know, those are all the images from the two different folders, right, the two different users. Now, the way that it usually works on ads 
is that Facebook or any sort of computer, they actually don't understand images. They don't really understand what it is. What they understand is the code behind an image. So actually an image is just a bunch of different codes combined together. And that's how a computer can understand what an image is. I know that's a little bit confusing, but just bear with me, I'll show you how it all works. So here I'm importing these images, right? From these two different folders. So these two users, then I'm embedding these images. So what that mean is I'm turning images into code, right? And we can actually take a look at them here. So as you can see, this is the picture of the pit bull one, two, three. And if we go to the right, those are all the different color number or color code, right? So as you can see, this is literally one image. Look how many different codes there is in one image. It's pretty crazy. But again, when a computer sees that, it can understand what the image is about. And what it's doing, it's, it's actually not recognizing that this is a dog. It understands that they all look alike because the code is similar. And then from there, what we do is we actually tell the computer that this is a pit bull. If any of, if an image cat sort of looks like this, you know, that means that it's a pit bull or a picture of a husky. So what we're trying to do in this test is we're actually going to, I actually created like a, an ad, a fake ad, obviously, that I'm going to put in the folder and then we're going to see our machine here. Does it, will it show the ad to John or Patrick? So what I did is I downloaded these two ads right here. So add one and add two. Um, and I'll show you right now. Add one is a picture of a pit bull. And as you see, this picture is completely different than what I believe John Smith already liked, right? These other pictures of pit bulls. If the system is accurate, what it should do, and that's exactly what Facebook does, is that it should show this image to John Smith and not Patrick. So I'm going to go ahead and go here, put that in my folder. So as you can see here, those are two users. I drag the picture here. Now our system is going to go ahead and show this ad to the user based off what they liked, you know, based off what they like would be more likely to enjoy this ad. Okay, so I'm going to go here. I'm just going to reload this. So as you can see here, our image is right here, add one. Now let's take a look at what the system actually thinks about this picture and to who we would actually show it to. So this is actually John Smith and this is Patrick. So as we can see, John Smith, here are all the images that you've already liked. And here's our ad one. So we can see that the system is actually working and it's just looking at what John liked on Facebook in the past and goes ahead and understands that the, the ad that I just uploaded to the folder is more relevant to John versus Patrick. Now, you know, that might just be a coincidence or anything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do another test, but a picture of a Husky. So I'm going to go ahead and go back here. I'm actually going to delete this. Go to my download file. That's the add to we're going to grab. Put it right here. Perfect. I'm going to reload that. Make sure it's here. So here's our add to a picture of a husky, happy husky. And as again, as you can see, it's totally different than the three images of huskies that Patrick liked. So we're going to go here and open this up. And as we can see here, again, that's John's folder, that's Patrick's folder. And we can see that the system associated or matched that ad number two to Patrick because it understands and recognizes that Patrick would be more likely or would just enjoy seeing this ad more than, for example, the Pitbull ad. So let's say that in this example, I create a campaign on Facebook ads and it's a campaign advertising dog food. And in that ad, I created obviously a dynamic creative and I have a picture of a Husky and a picture of a pit bull as my two options for images. Well, Facebook, what they would do is they will look at these sort of, you know, it would, they would actually do exactly what I just did today. And they would go ahead and show this specific image of the Husky to Patrick and the image of the pit bull to John based off their interest. So hopefully that kind of answers your question on how it works. So as you can see, if I'm able to do it with this system, imagine what 
Facebook can do with all the data they have. So it is really accurate and it will get you a cheaper cost per conversion and honestly just better results based off our experience. So it is for this video. If you like and enjoy this, this demo and this overall video, go ahead and click the like button and please do subscribe to the channel because I do create videos like these every week. And it is bye for now.